Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, Breaking Down the Lumetri Color Panel, Part 2. Alright, like I said in Part 1, where we went over the basics, you're not really meant to just be in one of these uh, categories of the Lumetri panel. I just thought it would be easier to tackle each one in a different uh, tutorial. So in this one we're going to be talking about the creative part of it. And this is where we can add different uh, styles and looks and uh, create faded film. Let's go have a look. So in the Lumetri color panel we're looking at the second one here which is the creative section. And this is the first one that comes up by default. And one of the choices you have at the beginning is to change the look. Now before I open this up and show you I have got a lot more than uh, normal, I'll just show you here that normally in Premiere Pro, in the uh, uh, program files, this is the same on both Mac and Windows, there's a Lumetri folder, in there there's a Looks folder, and in there is the Cine Looks, and that's where uh, all of the looks are that are in that pop-up menu. On the right hand side, in SpeedGrade uh, 2015, there are look examples in there, there's styles, and this is where you can get to some things that, that were in the older version with things like the 70s and 60s look and warm gamma mix and things like that. So if you copy these and put them over here, when you now go to this part, they show up inside here. In fact, any dot .look file that you've created in SpeedGrade, if you put that in the, the, the right folder, it's going to show up inside here. So that's a great way to work. All right. I also want to show you, before I apply this, that you'll notice this image here. If we look at the RGB parade, it's not uh, crushed into the blacks, and there's a lot of latitude in the top. So it's not really that wide of an image. So when I apply one of these looks here, so if I go to... Um, let me go to Blue Intense. And you notice when I click on it here, it then feeds it into there. So I can go to the next one, which is Blue Moon, and I can preview what it looks like here before I send it over. And you notice that it does a very good job uh, with images that have this kind of uh, um, latitude. So now I'm getting into some of the, the, uh, the different ones that are not normally stuck inside here. Um, but it is pretty amazing when you do apply these looks. Now, if you find that they are too much, below the look is an intensity slider. So you're taking that, that look and just taking the amount of that look down a little bit. Now, in this example here, we already have a lot of contrast. So if you do find yourself adding uh, one of these looks and you're finding that it's pulling it, it's, it's clipping it too much. Go back to the basic correction and restore your highlights and whites. And it seems to do a better job of that. And if we uh, take a little bit of the saturation down here, now we can go from that to that with blue intense. So like I said, we're talking about the creative uh, part of the Lumetri color panel, but in a normal workflow, I would go and compensate for some of these, maybe either in the uh, color wheels or back in the basic. All right, next up, let's go back to our first shot and look at faded film. Uh, so remember that our first shot has the Gold Rush uh, look applied to it, and now we're going to fade the film. So if you start to move the slider from the bottom, um, it starts to lift the blacks. So below 50%, the only thing it's doing is lifting the blacks. After 50%, it's going to start to pull down the highlights and give you a look that uh, you can imagine from 1970s celluloid uh, would start to look like as the latitude really starts to uh, compress. And you can pick anywhere inside there. So let's go look at our building and do the same thing. So again, before 50%, you notice in the RGB parade, we're only pulling up the blacks. And then after 50, we're going to be uh, bringing down the white. So, it's got a very specific look to it. You, you see this being used uh, a lot today in advertising. It simulates that faded film, and it's very easy to add to any of your looks. In this example, back in the creative, you want to find out 
um, what vibrance is for. So we can see a lot of skin tone here. And normally if you push the saturation, you saturate absolutely everything, including the skin tone. Well, if you've used vibrance in camera raw or in Lightroom, then it's the same kind of effect. You can see that I'm pushing the background and I'm pushing the brown of the wood, but her face, it takes quite a bit before you see that pops into her face. So vibrance is fantastic when you're working on something other than skin tone and you're trying to make that pop. All right, uh, in this example here, I want to actually uh, create a more dramatic looking sky. So to do that, uh, I am going to grab my, and when you've added this many, the normal ones are a little bit further down. I'm gonna add retro brown to this. And again, you can see the, uh, the highlights are blown out quite a bit. So I can take that down, see how the sky is coming back. And if we hit before and after, can see we've got a very vibrant looking image very stylized looking Im image but we haven't really lost the clouds here's another example uh, in this one this is the original image so you can see full color and what I've done here is I've actually taken the shadow and the highlight tints and I push them and I move the saturation down to nothing so your first thought might be if I just reset all this here and you reset them by double clicking on them if I take saturation down and make this black and white, then how am I, you know, adding this to a black and white? Well, the, the word is tint, shadow, tint, highlight, tint. I'm pushing the shadows into the warm. I'm pushing the highlights into the cool. And I can create this duotone kind of feel inside here. You can also set where the tint balance happens or down towards the shadow, then you're going to get more of the influence of the shadow. If it's happening uh, higher up towards the highlight, you're basically changing the midpoint of that. All right, sharpening. Well, that's just what you'd expect. So if I want this sharpened up, I'm just gonna move that over to the right and I've sharpened that image. So here's a before, here's an after. You can definitely push sharpen too much, so be careful of that. All right, here's, um, Another one of the, the great creative effects that I like. This is the 60s look that I've added to this. And that came from the, um, the speed grade samples inside there. So this has a more of a 60s look. And I'll show you here in this example, this is um, completely untouched. So that's original. And I want the uh, uh, play around with this 70s look inside here. And I'll just go and choose there's the 70s. You can also use your scroll mouse inside this area, mouse over, and I'm using my scroll mouse. There's the 70s. And you know what? I think that's a, a pretty darn archive look to this. It, it definitely works. Now, you'll also notice in here things like uh, film stocks. And these are the same film stocks that came from um, speed grade when we saw them inside there. Now, these film stocks have the input, the output, and the internal processing of these films. They're not meant to make your, your video look like it's a grainy film. It gives you the characteristics and the latitude and the overall uh, uh, the, the technical quality of that film, and then you can grade on top of that. So I hope you can see why I am dividing these up into sections. That was just the creative uh, part of the Lumetri uh, color panel. All right, hopefully you found this informative. If you have, then please take a moment and click on the subscribe button to video reveal. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, there's a special link in the description just for you to get your free 30-day trial. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith. It's my job to get you looking your best.